Hi, my name is Beanie. I've been recording for 30 minutes with no microphone working. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. I just died. So this is where I have been trying to tame a level 180 Megalodon, and that's what we're doing in today's episode. We're already halfway there. But a Rex came out of nowhere and ate my face, hence why I'm here right now, having to start over again. And we're going to try and destroy this Rex. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot him at long range. I think we got some simple bullets on us, maybe. Yes, we do. Okay, let's go. Yeah, come on, Rexy. Come on, Rexy. Oh my! Woo! <laughs> yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. I thought I was a goner again. All right, never mind. So we're back. We've got some flippers. We have a gas mask. Oh, sorry, a little, a little mask for that. This dead body has got nothing in. It's fine. Just chuck it. Let's try and get this megalodon again. This is the megalodon that I've been after. Should be somewhere in here. There it is. Let me gamma up for you. This little guy right here. It's a level 180 megalodon. I've been after this guy for a little while now. His torpor's probably gone. Oh, am I shooting this guy with normal? No, no, no. Okay, so we're just going to pepper this guy with a few more of these. It's sort of stuck right now, which is great. We've had a lot of issues with these little stingray things killing us. But we want to tame this Megalodon super quick. Super quick. All right, so that's gone. But don't worry, we've got this. This may do a little bit more damage, but it is still going to try and... Oh, my God, these guys again. Get up, get up. Okay, this is how I've been dealing with these. That's what I'm talking about. Get off my land. Oh, jeez. Damn. We're just peppering these guys up with the shotgun. All right, let's go back in for this Megalodon. Is it knocked out? Oh, it's knocked out. Yeah, baby. Right, okay. Awesome. Wait, is this, this is the 180, yeah? Yeah, it is the 180. Nice, it's knocked out. So, in real life, if you were, if a shark was to stop swimming, it would suffocate. But, you know, this is off. All right, we're just going to clear all this out. Bam! So, you've come in at the tail end of this video where we are pretty much being successful right now. The reason that we need one of these sharks are for basilos, which is a basilo somewhere over here. I wanted a megalodon just to make my swimming around a lot easier. So I won't have to do it on foot. And we can kill off stuff with a megalodon and then just carry on with the basilo. There is another megalodon down there, but I'm bringing it. Yeah, it's level 24. And this is a basilo right here. But it's a level 66. So we need a better level to go and do the cave. Yeah, we can't, we can't do that level 66. That's, that's just, it's just not going to do a cave. All right. Oh God, we got to stick right. And this is why there's so many of these little little beggars around. Where'd you go? There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, that's what I... Oh, boy. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, damn. I love it. Peppered it up a little bit. Do you want some salt with that pepper? Oh, damn. Damn. It's going to mess with these fools. Okay, so I'm not sure how long the Megalodon needs to drain its torpor for. Uh, it's only done 50 right now. We are going to use some Alexa. So we need to go and get the Desmodus out and run around and grab some of that. Also, you wouldn't know this, but we have the crafting station office back at base and something in the post box. Both of these things contain amazing items. And if you want to check out what those amazing items are, make sure to stay to the end of the video and there'll be a special phrase for you to answer in the comment section. I didn't. I don't think I got it up. No, there's definitely a Desmodus somewhere over here that I just parked up while I went and got these. I am very tempted to try and tame this guy just because... That would also make the process of taming more of them easier because we won't get shocked. That's the main issue is that we're some... Get out of here! Oh my god. Oh, is he attacking us or is he just friends? That's fine. You can be my victim. So we're going to jump on this guy and we're just going to eat your entire family. And then we're going to feed your dead bodies to this uh, fjord hawk. What are you doing about it? You want a cool pet? Here we go. Here's a nice pet. That fjord hawk wants to come back. I've got plenty of uh, food for you now. Ah! Out of nowhere! <laughs> the rest of the family came in. Come on, them boys. Let's take it out. They came in from everywhere, but all those beautiful cows gave us enough to make an elixir. And this elixir will give us the beauty of taming. Where'd it go? It will hopefully add 30% taming effectiveness to this Megadon, making the process all that little bit easier. So I'm going to chuck five kibble in. Oh man, it dropped 30%. Okay, if we're going to... Can we consume this underwater? I, by looks of it, we can't. It doesn't look like it works on fish. What if I stand on top of the fish? What if I stand up here? I was really hoping to use this on the fishes, but uh, they don't work on the fishes, which means it's not going to work on a basilo, which means <laughs> I mean, it's going to take longer to do the basilo. All right, well, it's only going to need probably three pieces of kibble. I'm going to let that star for a bit. If you ever wondered how many blood bags a Desmodos would get from eating one of these guys, we have one blood bag. We're going to find out. Let's eat this guy and find out how many blood bags we're going to get from this big bash beast. So obviously the bigger the creature and the more health you got, the more blood bags you get. Let's see what one of these will do. And let's see how much it tames this Fjord Hawk. That'd be actually quite interesting. If we don't eat the body afterwards, we'll see how much it can uh, tame up a Fjord Hawk. It's running for its family. I will not let you get there in time. 
it's in our orange we need to get to red before these guys start attacking us we're at 200 blood bags we can make one elixir from this guy which is beautiful it goes red there we go we hit it this guy is now going to feast on it hopefully and we'll see how much he gets from it go to the taming map hasn't popped up yet bro did you just rob the food without even going up a tame that's disrespectful but either way we got 240 blood bags from that one creature that is insane all right we got some harpoon bullets i want to see how much damage these things do i've never used them uh what should we go for should we go for this guy damn 200 damage that's so bad you know actually not that bad fish hunting damn such a waste of resources but this is fantastic oh i'm drowning fish oh i accidentally hit the big boy oh my god <laughs> i accidentally hit the big boy <laughs> do not come after me please i'm so sorry i was after the fish oh my god <laughs> oh that was evil that was actually evil sorry bro didn't mean to hit you did they go so far that's amazing we have come back home just to get a megalodon saddle but look this is the personal crafting sheep and this right here is the large storage box that is our post box and they contain some amazing gifts i hope you're ready for the end of the video you know what while we're here let's just do it now okay let's have a look let's have a look at this guy so this is the personal crafting sheep if we open this up you will see there's a deodon and two desmodos if you have a look at the note that is with it the desmodos from nikki's breeding lab let's have a look at these levels it's a level 506 it is called the joker first of all look at these stats 102 melee 107 points into health this is from the nikki's breeding lab it's a level 500 and then we have there's a deodon which is a 519 jokist look at the stats on this guy look at those hunger stats 222 into the hunger stats let's have a look at these guys right now this is the best gift ever thank you nikki for all the support that you give the channel ah oh, dude <laughs> this guy looks insane love this guy what does that translate to in actual world whoa 80 000 and it's got 51 levels that is beautiful now let's have a look at these desmodos the joker desmodos wow it is actually look we got the green there so that's pretty cool we've already got some of the colors but green and purple Dude, that's insane that just looks beautiful look at the pair of them there let's gamble for a sec just look at the colors on them insane and in the stats just to get your head around it it's got 861 melee before leveling up and 7400 health this guy is a beast an absolute beast now i am going to breed these with my male i think this one's a male anyway yeah we'll try and get these stats and these exact colors but thank you so much nikki's breeding lab which is insane to get a level 500 dog creature with that many stats he's been breeding a long time god damn that is insane it saves the grind of the desmodos breeding that i was doing we got two melee as you can see on that guy and then it was just difficult but in the post box we have more gifts a letter I know how you are a big fan of Wolf, sir. From Matt here. Awesome. So Matt here gave us Wolf. We got really cool journeyman saddle there for the Wolves. Let's have a look at these Wolves. Oh, they are beautiful. It is a pair of R Dire Wolves for the breeding project. As you can see right here. 285. Dude, that's insane. So these are just wild born, I think. Are these... Oh, no, they are parents. Did you get these from wild though? These are insane levels. Maybe got them from a cave or something. 285. What? That's just... That seems like more than what it should be. But they are beautiful. Thank you so much, Matt. These will become a breeding project. I do like going through caves on the wolf back. So we will be taking these. And that journeyman saddle, which I'm going to chuck in one of these inventory so it doesn't get lost, is going to be a huge help. Thank you so much for the community and for the people, Nikki and Matt here, for producing these beautiful specimens. Look at all this element. Okay, let's transfer this element. 182 thousand element what does that translate to that translates to 188 actual element 1000 element dust per element piece we now will have over 500 elements the factory of element is magnificent feel the power of the bean well, thank you to everyone for the gifts let's go back to the megalodon i did mention that there'll be a phrase throughout the video once you get to this part so make sure you type down below nick's breeding lab down below in the comment section you know it's got to be done that breeding lab is insane all right my megalodon there it is it's down there it's been attacked oh no these pesky things my boy you got to go in here 
I'm gonna go save it. I'm coming, Megalodon. I can't see. Hey, how you doing? Let's get that saddle on you real quick. I know we can ride the waves together. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Let's just eat everything. There's 144 damage. Ain't that bad, you know. And it has a blade effect. Is this because it's the better dinos mod? Which I think it is. This is part of the better dinos mod. It's been improved. It has a bleed effect. Let's have a look at this Megalodon. It actually looks pretty nice. I don't mind the colors on it either. It's really nice colors. Whoa, we're being attacked. Okay, so I've chucked on the scuba kit. We're going to gamma up because it's quite bad under these waters. And uh, yeah, now every Megalodon hates us. Every creature hates us. And it's all great. What we're doing is let's get through these, actually. Let's munch through all these. We should be able to handle this. I mean, Megalodons are pretty squishy. And this guy seems very squishy as well. But we should be able to get through all these. We just demolished everything with this guy. Right, that's sort of left the Basilo a little bit unprotected right now. There's not many left on there. All right, let's see how much we can get done with four kibble. Do you have any kibble left? You probably ate it. Let's see if we can get this guy with just such little kibble. 55% with one. Nice. Let's get this guy as well while we're here. I'm just going to wait for that to get a little bit hungry again. Megalodons are a little squishy, you know. Look at this guy. He's getting his ass kicked. This is a max level Megalodon. It should be kicking ass, boy. Oh, half health. The Megalodon's only doing 52 damage. We're doing 200. Why is he not dead? Oh, no. The... The dolphin's trying in front of me while I was trying to feed this guy. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we've got this Basilo. Well, there we have it. That's been eventful. We got our Megalodon, super good level. We got this guy, Basilo. Level 98, it came out at perfect tame from a 66. And we accidentally got this dolphin, which is an adolescence that tamed in one. So I don't even know what level that was. Um, I'm assuming it's a perfect team, so it would have been level 50, something like that. I don't know, but there we go. That is the episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. And make sure to put the comment down in the description that I asked you to put down there if you made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, bye.